Well, I'm afraid what you want may be a bit out of your reach. Here's a look at the Hasbro Indiana Jones Adventure Series Build an Artifact, Dr. Elsa Snyder. Indiana Jones races against the forces of evil to find the Holy Grail and keep it from falling into the wrong hands. Kids and collectors alike can imagine the action and adventure of Indiana Jones with figures from the Indiana Jones Adventure series. Just before Dr. Elsa Snyder takes a bit of a fall, we're going to go ahead and grab the tape measure and see how tall the figure stands. We'll also as well bring in the earlier looked at Indiana Jones so you can see the difference between the two. Obviously, I'm sure many of you will notice the difference between the two figures and we'll make one step closer to building the artifact table. Of course, before we do all of that, let's grab the tape measure and see how tall the figure stands. Snyder stands about five and a half inches in height, or the figure is going to be about 14 centimeters tall. As I bring in the Indiana Jones, what we looked at earlier from building this artifact wave, I feel I owe the figure a little bit of an apology. I still don't like the fedora, no, but I do think that the head sculpt isn't maybe as bad as I made it out to be in the review. It's not a bad looking likeness to Indiana Jones, and I think maybe one of the things that always goes with these figures is you could have a good looking head sculpt, but if it's painted a little off, and maybe that's the thing that threw me off a little bit was the way they painted the figure's face. It's not, again, a bad looking head sculpt and bearing a likeness to Harrison Ford. Now, I did want to bring in here, there's Helena Shaw reasoning why I did want to bring her in also as well is considering there are Dial of Destiny figures part of this wave, which are no real place I feel in this wave at all. But you know when you are cooking and you want to add temperature like hot water liquid to like eggs, you know, you have to slowly add the liquid. If not, you'll curdle the eggs. I want to do something similar here with Helena Shaw before, of course, we look at the rest of the figures. Dial of Destiny. I did also want to temper. Is that what they saw? They temper the water temperature. So, of course, it's not going to curdle the eggs. <laughs> Using that as a, of course, as a comparison, as an analogy here for Helena Shaw, you can see that the figure of Helena is about the same size as Elsa Snyder here. <laughs> Curdling the eggs. On to, though, the artifact pieces. Now, in fact, what we get here with uh, Snyder is pretty much the same stuff that we already got with Indiana Jones. So you get two planters pots, just nothing really planted inside of it just yet. They seem to be identical, so I would imagine you'd have to... Well, I don't think it really matters which side that you necessarily have. I say that now. I'm sure there is a specific way that you have to have these placed. And like with Indiana Jones, you also get the top part to that. And you also get this part. Not really even sure, again, how these things all come together. I would imagine it kind of goes similar to this, and you're going to push everything down, and then the table is probably going to snap into the tops of these, and tops, of course, of Indiana Jones's, and it's basically just going to be the tabletop running across that. That is what I'm thinking it's going to be on paper. That may very well change, though, when we get the tabletop. So I'm just going to kind of put it things aside as they are right now, not really fully committing at all to the idea of assembling those. The other things that she comes included with as well is goggles. Uh, a pair of goggles, and you can see that they are using sort of a, a tinted, you can kind of see like an orange plastic on the inside of that, and then they outline the frames nicely in silver. They don't necessarily fit on her existing head, as it is right now, but what you have to do instead is you have to pop the head off the neck, and then you put basically like the goggles around her neck area, which I guess we can kind of do right now. The thing about her, though, is the same problem I had really with Helena Shaw. She's got an extremely long neck. Much longer, I feel, than the figure really needed. But you're going to hold on to the neck, and you're basically just going to twist the head off. The reasoning why I'm actually holding on to the neck is the neck is always prone to popping off also as well. We just take the goggles, we'll put them down on her neck, and then we simply just take the head and snap it on top of that. The figure also... I'm going to come back to that in a second. Don't worry, don't worry. The figure also comes included with the poor choice chalice. This is the one that she's actually trying to reach off to the far side, sort of off on a little neighboring cliff. And then she, well, I don't want to give it away to anybody who hasn't watched Last Crusade. I would imagine by now everyone's seen The Last Crusade. It's a really interesting looking cup. I mean, I would be for the idea of actually grabbing this one, but you have to remember, this is supposed to be the cup of Christ. Would Jesus be all for like a heavily jeweled up cup? I don't know. Maybe, probably not. It's been cast nicely in sort of really rich looking gold coloring and some additional stonage of green. Stonage? Some additional stones have been painted in green. Really nice looking cup though. Resist the temptation to get the glitzy looking cup. You want to go with the one that, you know, again, looks like it was handmade. I'm going to put that to the side. And then the figure also comes included with this alternate head sculpt. I feel in both this case and the alternate head or the head that we're starting with over here, I feel in both of the cases, this, the head sculpt is sculpted to make a little older of an, of an actor than what it actually is. 
Does Hasbro forget how old this character is supposed to be in the movie? Because if I'm looking at it just from this face alone, first of all, I don't think it really looks a lot like her, but I feel it also makes her look a lot older than she's supposed to be in the movie. Looking at this, it kind of looks like an old, uh, older actress, Laura Dern. I mean, Laura Dern's already old as it is right now, but a slightly older Laura Dern. Uh, changing out the heads, by the way, I mean, picking up the two heads so you can see the difference between the two. This is sort of when she's part of the military, and this is kind of like more near the end where she's kind of reaching for the cup. I would much really rather prefer to have her displayed with this head sculpt myself. But I feel also as well, if she's going to be reaching for the cup, I probably would have given her a little bit more of an expression than just this neutral face that she has right now. Changing out the heads. Once again, we're going to go back to the neck. Just hold on to the neck. We're going to pop the head off. And the reasoning why I keep, again, holding on to that is especially if I did want to change out the head. I don't want to have to worry that the, the whole entire neck... I mean, look how long this neck is. I don't have to worry that the neck's going to be going along with the head. I'm just going to pop then the new head in place. There we go. It's definitely a lot easier to snap this one in place. But again, to look at the two head sculpts, don't they just look a little older than they really needed to be? Does Hasbro just forget how old this actress actually is in the movie? I do think like the hair adds a lot more appeal to the figure's head sculpt than just simply the hat, the cap that she has over top of her head. But I don't think, again, it looks at all like the actress at all. Now, for the rest of the figure's body, she has sort of like the poofier sleeved shirt, and then she's got the longer pants from there. She sort of has the same problem that Helena Shaw had. Unfortunately, I, that does mean I have to bring the figure back in. That they have very tiny feet. In fact, looking at them, they almost look like they're identical feet. Wait, wait a minute. They are identical feet. You can see that they have sort of the suggestion of laces on the tops of them. They're, in fact, using the exact same feet between the two figures. Fancy that. The lower la lower end of the legs. I mean, like, the boots are a little bit different, so there's that. So they're not using exactly the same molds of legs, nor are they actually using the top halves either. But it, while they are using completely different pants, I just notice now that they're actually using the exact same feet. But along with that, obviously, it goes with the fact that the, the, feet, the figure's feet being as small as they are. She has a real hard time, I've noticed, to stand properly. Of course, now she's standing perfectly fine. The figure does also have black gloves, which is actually nicely painted in the way that they've actually made them shinier than the more otherwise matte black that she has for the rest of her pants. It's a pretty nicely painted figure for really what it is. I just feel like the head sculpt under delivers. And this time around, unlike the Harrison Ford Indiana Jones that we looked at in the earlier review, where I kind of feel like I have to correct myself and say, not a bad looking Indiana Jones, I still don't think this looks at all like the actress at all in the movie. For the figure's articulation, her head's going to be on a ball joint. It rotates all the way around. Now, it looks up and it looks down. But in addition to that, if you go all the way down to the bottom of her giraffe neck, she also has the additional articulation there as well. Seriously, seriously, why did we have to make the neck as long? It, the neck could have been just about right there. But they made it excessively long. Was it to accommodate this actress? Or was it to accommodate Helena Shaw? One of them, one of them, unfortunately, had to then make the neck longer, and it then draws more attention to the fact that this figure's neck is a lot longer than it really needs to be. Anyways, though, the figure does have an upper torso ball joint, so yeah, you can rotate it all the way around. The figure's arms do rotate also all the way around. They're on pin and hinge joints, by the way, so you can also bring those arms outward at 90 degrees. She has a bend at the elbow, which also allows the forearms to rotate all the way around. Bring those arms down here for a second. Hands do rotate all the way around as well. Uh, they seem to be also on hinge joints too, so you can kind of see there's there's a bend right there in the hinge. The legs do split out, they're on ball joints. Uh, awkwardly though, they sort of split, uh, just because again, like she's got so much upper waist area here that when you then bring the legs out, they don't really bend out completely straight. Uh, but you can bring the legs forward, you can bring them back, there's a mild swivel at the top of the thigh. Single hinge in the knee that allows, of course, the lower leg to rotate back and forth. And then her ankle moves up and down and back and forth this way as well. For only the sheer idea of just actually just bringing in just to show the similar similar build of body. Once again, I'm going to bring bringing back in Helena Shaw because of course we've got a temper. I don't want curdled eggs at all. But again, we're just bringing back in Helena Shaw here using again the same feet and the same problems to go along with those feet. The figure has a real harder time to stand. And once again, we'll bring back in Indiana Jones. We've now got two figures in, two figures in. And what progress does somebody behind the scenes ask? How much progress have we actually made? We've made little to no progress. We still only have the planter's pots. That will, of course, be changing as we progress our way through the uh, arc build-a-figure wave, or the 
build an artifact last crusade table that's going to of course have all the little tiny cups on top of that as well uh, the reasoning also why i did want to actually look at elsa snyder next is simply because i'm trying to actually build these as i'm doing the review if, if i wanted to jump right away to say for example the father if i wanted to look at indy's senior for example it would have made actually no sense whatsoever because of course he comes with just the tiny little cups yeah there he goes comes with the tiny little cups and i would have been able to do nothing with them until i actually built myself the table you know what i'm just gonna move hell and shot out of the way so, so far, we got two figures in. No progress whatsoever when it comes to build an artifact. I still think the Indian is not as bad as maybe what I made out to be in his review. I just don't like the fedora at all. But I, I gotta say, like, Del Dr. Elsa Snyder, while it is nice included figure, especially one that actually is in The Last Crusade, I feel like the head sculpt is not the greatest, though, whether you decide to go with this head sculpt or the one that she starts with when you first get her out of the packaging. Of course, you know me, I had to look online, and actually, Dr. Elsa Snyder was played by Irish actress Alison Duty. <laughs> Duty. She's 57 as it is right now. Last Crusade came out in 1989, and if I'm doing my math correctly, then that would have meant that Alison was 23 when she did The Last Crusade. 23, 24. Certainly not the way they've sculpted the face sculpt here, because I feel like it comes across like an actress that's in probably like in her mid or late 30s, even even borderline 40s. I feel like other than maybe the head sculpt aging her a little bit more than she really needed to be, I don't think it at, at all bears a likeness to Alison Duty or Dr. Elsa Snyder from the movie. That being said, though, the rest of the figure's okay if you can overlook the fact that she has a very long neck. I also happen to just check out Alison Duty's neck. Her neck's not that long either. I've got the figure displayed right now with a poorly chosen chalice. Uh, one of the only accessories that really come in clue with the figure, that and the alternate head sculpt and the goggles. I guess you really didn't necessarily need a whole lot of things to come included with, but it is actually one other cup that we can add then to the table when we eventually, I don't even know when this thing's going to happen, when we eventually build the artifact. It's a nice though looking figure. I just, it's a little underwhelming, underwhelming, I would say, when it comes to the head sculpt. But the rest of the figure, certainly if you did want to get yourself a Snyder to go on display with the Last Crusade, at the very least, you could say at least she belongs in this wave like some of the figures that we're going to be looking at in upcoming reviews. But what do you guys think of the figure? Let me know down below in the comments section. Also as well, hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, you want to hit with a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing, and you certainly would like to stick around for more, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that you're also as well turning on the bell notification. We, of course, will be continuing our journey until we eventually build the entire table. And along with that, of course, all the cups and the artifacts are going to sit on top of the table from there. Of course, as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.